going on guys? Thank you for watching and welcome back to another cooking video. In this one, I'm going to be cooking wild Alaskan salmon and I'm excited to share with you guys the whole process, how I'm going to prep it, cook it, and you guys know that I'm going to pick the healthiest fish for us out there, filled with a bunch of good things to promote brain health, heart health, all those omega fatty acids. But I took it upon myself a while ago to just do a little bit of research on what fish is better to cook, what fish is better for us. And I kind of found that wild caught fish are a little bit better just because, you know, when fish are farmed, you know, they might be throwing things into the water, there might be a higher amount of toxins in that fish. And obviously when we cook the fish, all those toxins go away. But you want to make sure that you get the best piece of fish or meat or whatever you're going to be eating that you could have, all right? It's quality food. Quality, quality, quality. It's very important that you know the food that you're eating is good for your body. Remember what I always say, that your body uses the food you eat to make new cells. That's very important when you're trying to think of a healthy diet for yourself. So enough talking, let's get right into it. If you guys are ready to see my cooking video covering wild Alaskan salmon, please keep watching. some chopped up red and orange pepper right here with some onion and some lemon. What I'm going to be doing is baking my salmon. I already have my oven set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I've had it preheating for about 10 minutes and I'm going to make basically a bed of vegetables and throw those fillets of salmon over top and then I'm going to basically close the top and you guys will see that which is going to hold a lot of moisture in and just absorb all that flavor from these vegetables into that fillet of salmon. That's the goal or plan I should say. just wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be putting the salmon on top of inside the tin foil when I'm baking it. All right, before I put each fillet inside the tin foil, I'm going to dress them with some avocado oil, some seasoning, some minced garlic, and some lemon. Here's the minced garlic. This is my garlic pepper seasoning. It's got a little bit of sea salt in it already, so we're just going to put a few grinds of that over each fillet, as well as my fresh lemon, which I'm just going to squeeze over each fillet at the end. Make sure you're washing your hands after you're touching any raw meat. basically making a tent with this tin foil because I want to trap all the moisture that comes up from these vegetables that gets into the filet. So I'm going to kind of be making like a fence. Alright, as you can see this is what I have. It's not a masterpiece. I want the filets to absorb all that flavor. So we're gonna throw this into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I like my fish a little bit cooked, so I'm gonna give it the 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna check them. We're gonna see how it is at 30 minutes. We're gonna put our fork inside the filet. If it comes out nice and flaky, that's how you know it's ready. If not, we gotta put it back in the oven. So I'm gonna throw it in the oven right now. So that concludes my cooking video for you featuring wild caught Alaskan salmon. 
I got some organic broccoli on the side to go with those vegetables I cooked the filet of salmon on in the oven. I put them underneath as well for the dish and I mixed them up with the broccoli as well. That's a good thing about using vegetables underneath the salmon when you're baking them is so you can use them in the dish as well. And you guys know I love peppers and onions. So I grabbed that, I put the garnish on top of that slice of lemon and there you guys go, that's my salmon. It was my first fish dish I've ever done on this channel and I was happy to do it for those of you out there who requested it. All right. For those of you that want to see anything new, please drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future. I'll be happy to answer any of your comments, grant any requests in regards to that. And for another cooking video, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Brett Cat. See you guys next time.